Action! Hello, pedal nerds, bass players, and people who like pedals. Uh, I'm Roman, and welcome to another pedal review. This time it's going to be Earthquaker Devices and Afterneath. Oh, yeah. Gear Review! Gear Review! So, the Afterneath is a reverb pedal from a very interesting company in Ohio called Earthquaker Devices. Now they are pretty famous for making pedals, not pedals that you would necessarily need, or they don't make pedals for a certain purpose, they just make pedals because they can. And that's interesting, because a lot of their pedals are known for being very experimental and very unique, and Afterneath is no exception. Now this pedal is a reverb, you cannot really look at this pedal as a classical reverb. So if standard reverbs like hall, spring, um, room is what you're looking for, then this is probably not it. Um, in the manual, they describe this reverb as being in a cave. And that's exactly how it sounds. You're gonna find out soon enough. And the very cool thing is that you've got Gandalf or some wizard on the cover. And Saruman. So you've got a wizard uh, in, a, in a cave. So I think that the, the artwork pretty much describes the pedal. This is actually another thing that Earthquaker devices are very famous for, the artwork on their pedals, which is very beautiful. Earthquaker devices describes this reverb as being a swarm of short delays. So um, I think that this concept is going to be touched upon in more detail later. So now we're going to go through the knobs. So first here we've got the length. So length, uh, that's the length of the reverb. If you go clockwise, reverb is longer, and if you go counterclockwise, the reverb is shorter. Then we have diffuse, so this is the spread of the reverb. So if you go counterclockwise, you get more attack, and if you go clockwise, reverb gets more ambient and washy. Okay, the next, it, we have dampen, which sort of works like a tone knob. So if you go clockwise, you get a brighter tone, and if you go kind of clockwise, your tone gets darker. Then we've got drag. Now this is this is the knob that makes this pedal really unique. So this drag controls the delay part of the reverb. So if you go kind of clockwise, you get more of a delay, and if you go clockwise, you get more of a reverb. It gives you a certain amount of repeats. And with this knob, you can change the speed of those repeats. And if you turn the knob, there's also a pitch shifting thing happening. Then we've got reflect. Uh, this knob, uh, this is the regeneration of the reverb. So if you go clockwise, it's more uh, wash and echoes. And if you go counterclockwise, it's less. And well, the last knob is the mix, so this is the most traditional knob, so that's um, if you want to mix your dry signal with the wet signal. So uh, if you go kind of clockwise, it's just your dry signal, and if you go clockwise, it's just the reverb, reverberated signal. It's just the signal of the pedal. For the recording, I'm using MTV Kingston uh, Z series, 5-string bass, BH550, bass head from TC Electronic and this bass head goes directly into the sound card and every loop is going to be made through Flashback 4 from TC Electronic which is a delay pedal but it's got looper built in. After this is a very unique pedal so I'm, I will try to demonstrate its uh, uniqueness. I'm gonna play a more conventional bass line so this is something that you would probably use a faster reverb for so once the loop is recorded, uh, I will try to get the fastest reverb you can get from the pedal and then try different knob settings.
thing I forgot to mention about the reflect knob is, uh, and you could have heard this in the previous example, if you go beyond the three o'clock, the pedal gets into a self oscillation. This is a term usually used with delay pedals, but as I mentioned earlier, this after this is actually a bunch of short delays. Now I'm gonna play maybe a bass line that can be part of a song. to be shorter one. Uh, reverb is a pretty tricky pedal when it comes to a bass guitar because usually when you have a reverb you may have quite a lot of difficulties cutting through the mix. Reverb is something I will talk about more in the future so don't forget to subscribe. Particularly this reverb underneath is very unique and uh, a lot of people wonder what reverb sounds like on lower strings on a bass guitar have a tendency to make your tones a little muddy how does this pedal work in this environment we're gonna try now so i'm just gonna play uh, random things on the lower strings just so you could hear how it sounds on the lower strings and i'm gonna use the shortest reverb or the fastest reverb and then maybe try some repeats short reverb and I was playing around with knobs at that setting low notes were not very well heard and they were sort of a muddy 
but if you use this pedal in a setting where almost every knob is counterclockwise, so if you put length, diffuse, dampen and reflect counterclockwise and drag as well, with the mix being somewhere around 3 o'clock, you get sort of like a ping-pong delay. I'm going to demonstrate it more later, but this is actually something that can work with your lower strings as it really behaves like a delay. But if you go into more of the reverberated side of this pedal, I wouldn't probably use it on the lower strings. This doesn't apply just for the afternoon, it applies for pretty much every reverb pedal if it's not specifically made for bass guitar or for baritone guitar. Now I'm gonna play a bass guitar solo. This is uh, this will be sort of a, like out of a context, so just a bass guitar solo, but interesting thing is that even though this solo will sound sort of a empty on its own, this pedal can make it work. <laughs> just your dry signal and if you go kind of clockwise okay once again if you go kind of <laughs> Gandalf! Gandalf! Frodo! I didn't know you were a tenor <laughs> you want to destroy the one ring no fuck up somehow I don't watch it uh, 
One thing I. Well, I One thing I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, well, bloopers. We need bloopers. That's what everybody watches. Yeah, that's my um, <clears throat> reason. You know, I, I've, I edit 20 minutes of video and all of my friends are like, those bloopers were cool. That's the only thing we were watching. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> this is what you would play... Uh, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Na 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 Let's get to it. Oh, it sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool for having Gandalf. Gandalf? Gandalf. 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 For having Gandalf on uh, on its cover. And um, Gandalf! Frodo! <laughs> <laughs>